WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 102, S&P off 21, NASDAQ 100, it's 162. That's about a little over 1%. Russell's off 8, semis down 64, nearly 2% of a move there. Dow, uh, gold is up a buck, silver's down 10 cents. Lights we crude off 30 pennies, trading at 78.59. Natural gas is up 7 cents. 30-year Treasury down four ticks, trading out at 120.03. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart, upper left-hand corner, you've got the ES Mini. What do we know about it? Well, what we know about it is it has held the bottom of its weekly profile. Did that last week. Price yesterday tried to get up inside its new profile. I just got a kind of a sideways move out here. If we take a look at the uh, spot volatility index, what's really going on? Why is the ES Mini trading lower? Well, because what we had today is we had the spot volatility test and reject that 50-day exponential moving average. 50-day currently printed at 1550. We had a low of 1548. As long as price remains above that spot volatility index, we will likely see markets move lower. What else do we have take place? Well, we had the NQ testing resistance. That was the top of its daily profile. That's at the 15,359 area. U.S. dollar index testing a level of resistance as well. That's its TD9 count top. And a close today above 103.62 would negate that signal and suggest higher price. Goldilocks consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's not proven itself from a breakout standpoint. It's just had a nice move as it consolidates with inside its daily profile. That ranges from 1918 to 1918. 53. Silver's had a nice move. It's well above profile levels. It's made it to the 0.6 rate retracement. Yesterday was day number five of consecutive moves higher. That suggests we get a pullback today and or tomorrow as well, and that could then set up the next buy. Lights we crude, if we were to close below 78.60, that would trigger an A to B equal CD to the downside. We don't have that just yet, but watch that level. Natural gas got back, tested, and so far has rejected its swing point from August the 2nd, but a real rejection means it has to close above 269. If it doesn't close above it, it's trading inside it, and depending on volume, may be telling us that it wants to go retarget that low of 257. And the 30-year Treasury, yeah, it had a nice TD9 count bottom. That's led to a consolidation with inside its profile. Resistance for it is 120.29. Folks, thanks so much for joining me. Please stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.